What's going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. Uh, if you hear that uh, rattling noise, I got the reefer running back here, and then it's uh, the, the box under the step. It rattles, uh, so that's what you hear. But um, if you can hear it at all, but uh, tell you about yesterday. Yesterday, I was in uh, Elkton, Maryland, delivered the load, and my dispatcher called and said, I got a load that picks up on Thursday to deliver on Friday. Uh, it's coming right by the house. And uh, I said, I'll take it. However, I got to wait until I find and find the load back. Now, this load is coming out of Columbus, Ohio, uh, coming back down this way, uh, where I'm at now. And I said, I'll, I'll take it, but I got to find a load coming back. So uh, up until this point, I've been on the phone talking with, uh, on the load board, talking with different brokers. And that day, there's nothing but trash. And when I, when I say trash, there were loads available. Don't get me wrong. There were loads available, but they were jacked up loads. They picked up at weird hours, delivered at weird hours. Or they were deliver like a day extra. They added another day on there, or you know, multiple stop loads. They added another day on there, and it, this stuff was all jacked up on them. So I turned all load. Took, nah, nah, I'm not interested. Uh, thanks anyway. And then I had a load that I saw. I called on it. Uh, then I just told him. I said, I'm not coming. You know, I can't find anything right now. Um, so you can go ahead and give that load to somebody else <clears throat> and I'll just run some local stuff around, you know, around the house. So I found a load the following day I picked up. I'm actually here now getting loaded, uh, down here in Camden, New Jersey. Uh, don't come here. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of, no, it's a lot of tight streets and low bridges. Actually the one bridge I had to, it was close. I dumped the airbags out of the, the tractor, uh, and, you know, I'd stop, put the four ways on, got out the truck, you know, stuck my head up, you know, looking to see, you know, the clearance. It, it was, it was close. But, um, uh, just, you know, if you come here, just, you know, be prepared. Tight streets and low bridges. But, back to the story. So, I, I called on the broker about this load that I'm on right now. And this broker, it's only a 30 mile run, Right. So this broker, he's hemming and hawing and telling me all about the load. Oh, it's only 5,000 pounds and it's only 30 miles only. The keyword only. That means, you know, this is a benefit for you. So you need to take it for less, you know, less than what you need to, you know, what your, your rate is, whatever it is, right? So he's telling me all the, you know, trying to puff the load up and everything. I was like, how much does the load pay? <laughs> he's like, oh, uh, uh. Four hundred dollars. I was like, no, nope, can't do it. I can do it for this. And he's like, ah, no, nah, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay, well, no problem. We'll see you. Uh, thanks anyway. So then I refreshed the screen, and then another broker had this load, and it was paying more. Uh, so I called the broker up, and he said, uh, now I got this the screen up with the the information on the load, and. I call him up. I said, uh, hey, uh, what's the details? On, uh, in mid-sentence, I stopped. And I said, never mind. It's right here. And he just laughed. He's like, why does everybody do that? He's like, I was like, do what? He's like, we put all the information on the load. And then people call, want to know about the load. And they want more money on top of the offer rate. I said, well, I just got off the phone with another guy that has the same load and he must have been double, trying to double broker it from you and trying to sell it to me. I said, uh, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so he just, you know, he kind of calmed down. But uh, that's that's part of the industry where these brokers have, you know, the uh, at least me, you know, got us trained well because when these brokers, they put up information, they don't put all the information up. They'll just put up, you know, the load, what it picks up, and 
how much the weight, sometimes they don't even put that on there, and the phone number. They don't put any other information. Most of them don't. I say 80% of them don't. So you got to call in. No one is jacked up load. They already know this. But you got to waste your time, you know, five, ten minutes on the phone. Well, not even ten minutes, but five minutes on the phone. Going through all the details on the load to find out it doesn't work for you. Instead of putting all the information up on the on the, on the, uh, the, the description of the load right then and there. So you're not wasting your time and you're not wasting their time. I mean, I mean that makes sense to me. It may not make sense to you, but it makes sense to me. So... Uh, I told him this, so, and to make a long story short, I accepted this load. Um, so, it was, uh, I wanted more money on it, but I figured, well, you know, it's 30 miles, it's, you know, I got I got to sit through rush hour traffic, but it's on the way back to the house, so, I mean, I'm, I'm cool. But, uh, I said all that to say, and I've been thinking about this for a while, and I think what I want to do is well I want to get my own authority that's you know that's still in the works um but uh, I, let me tell you on something else I've been sitting at home a lot because these rates <laughs> they they ain't where they supposed to be I'll tell you that I'll tell you another story y'all like stories I'll tell you another story I was talking to a broker and it was a load out of uh, another short load this was last week and he uh, he tried to pull the the you know the oh the freights uh, the rates suck this week card right, so I said oh yeah they do, I said I've been sitting at home a lot, in other words, you can offer me that low rate but I ain't gonna take it, <laughs> so anyway, so what I've been thinking about is maybe run a truck three three days a week maybe four Sunday through. Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday to Wednesday. Yeah, three day, three three or four days a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. No, four days a week. Three to four days a week, right? And then maybe I can uh, get signed on somewhere as a freight broker agent. That way, well, excuse me, because I can sit here. We can all sit here. I, I can sit here and say what's wrong. And how to do all this stuff from this side, but I don't know how it works from the other side. So I figure, well, I can go over there, get the expertise, the knowledge from the other side, and then see how I can make a difference, dominate the world. I can make a difference and essentially help myself out and help other people out like you all you all that watch my channel because you know i can you know hook you all up with loads maybe i mean i don't know uh or maybe i can you know open up a freight brokerage and so on and so forth so that's still up in the air but it's just something i'm thinking about because it really bugs me when people just that everybody does the same thing so why not get the the knowledge on the other side and apply the things that how I think it should be should be and we go from there um, it's just a from a business standpoint you know what I'm saying um, so that's all for this video kind of like a little update thing and y'all like to hear updates and stuff like that so that's an update for me um, so we will see you on the next one